Le Nouvel Avar. There are two kinds of avarice. One, the archaic type, is the passion that spares oneself and others nothing. Its physiognomic traits have been immortalized by Moliere and explained as the anal character by Freud. It is consummated in the miser, the beggar with secret millions, who is like the puritanical mask of the unrecognized caliph in the fairy tale. He is related to the collector, the manic, finally to the great lover, as Gobsek is to Esther. He is still occasionally to be found as a curiosity in local columns of newspapers. The miser of our time is the man who considers nothing too expensive for himself and everything for others. He thinks in equivalence, subjecting his whole private life to the law that one gives less than one receives in return, yet enough to ensure that one receives something. Every good deed is accompanied by an evident, is it necessary, or do I have to? This type are most surely revealed by the haste with which they avenge kindness received, unwilling to tolerate in the chain of exchange acts whereby expenses are recovered, a single missing link. Because with them everything is done in a rational above-board manner, they are, unlike Harpagon and Scrooge, neither to be convicted nor converted. They are as affable as they are implacable. If need be, they will place themselves irrefutably in the right and transform right into wrong, whereas the sordid mania of stinginess had the redeeming feature that the gold in the cash box necessarily attracted thieves, indeed that its passion was stilled only in sacrifice and loss, as is the esoteric desire for possession and self-abandonment. The new misers, however, indulge their asceticism no longer as a vice, but with prudence. They are insured."